create column for that just go to steel tab and here it is column click this column where you want to place the column you can simply click that grid location the column will place or double click this column you will get it the column properties and once you decide this column properties after that you can place the column now you can see in this column properties steel column properties first general and numbering series position and deforming like that information available in this this information very important first one what is the name of the column you can make the name of the column i just given here column as it is and this is the profile if you click here you will get it the profile selection you can see lot of profiles available these all the profiles which environment we selected early the same environment related profiles you will get it if you choose japanese environment definitely you never get these beams you will get it only gis beams this is gis beams you will get it like that gis related japanese standard related sections only available but here i selected middle east so i will get it us uk and japanese related standard beams and all available this is us standard and these all uk standards and here it is japanese standard. so three standard available for middle east middle east environment so i just go to hea section and i select here the beam hea 400 hea 400 if i select the beam you can see what is the height you can see h this is 390 all the properties available here you can see it is very simple if you go to the width it is a b this is the width all the units in mm so like that you will get it all the information here and you can if you double click this one it will select here and this is material and if you click here it will go to material catalog and you can see lot of material available in default which material you want you can select and simply click okay now that material has been selected this is finish finish means in this column which type of fin finish required painting fireproofing or galvanizing like that which type of finish required that information you can write here the next one it is class class means here it is color if you click here you can see lot of colors depends on the selection your column color will change i just select here this color and here it is numbering series definitely when we make this structure we need part numbering and assembly numbering what is part numbering part numbering means see here this is the column only one member this is hatch section or i section we can tell this one only one part this one we can tell as part so this part which identification number is required prefix number is required i just make it h then assembly numbering assembly numbering means this column we will make base plate cap plate and in between seating plate and stiffener plate or gusset plate lot of things we will do in this column lot of things we will welded with this column so which items welded with column that all the things one assembly so base plate top cap plate and other all the things assemble one assembly 
means this total assembly we will call a column so i just make it the assembly numbering cl means column identification number prefix number then this is serial number means when i given the number which number it's need to start so i just given one so it will start one two three like that how many columns available difference depends on the variation it will take assembly number one two three series then position position key bus it is i will tell you later and simply enter once you enter where you need to place the column just click that area now you can see this one column placed these two column you can see the difference this is what we given the same property we created the column now i just simply escape and i select this column now you can see this column properties here it is different here you see and see here prefix number not edited but this one we properly made prefix number and all now we need to know about this positions that is very important positions and the rotation horizontal all the things very important but here i just tell you i go to view first and select this grid and go to the grid along grid before that i just go to the view list here clearly i just created this view so i don't want i delete it and i go to the view along grid lines and create simply click okay now these all the views created now i just select this plan view zero elevation now this is the column i select this column so you will get it the properties when i change this position here depends on the changes this column will change now you can see here vertical it is in middle now i change to down and simply enter now you can see it is come down again i select here up then enter it will go to up if you need to make it middle select this middle enter it is come to middle or you can give the value i just give the value here 200 enter now you can see your point is here from this point your column located 200 i just make it zero enter it will come back again so similar way you can adjust these positions it is very easy and you can see here this is rotation if you select here and i change to front and modify now you can see your column orientation changed like this and i change to top and modify now you can see orientation changed like this so similar way you can make orientation in rotation i just make it here 45 enter now you can see the column changed to 45 orientation changed i just make it zero enter it is coming back so similar way you can make if you change this orientation depends on the orientation this also will change now you can see i just make it 90 here you can see now it is back if i given 90 now you can see the column changed at the same time the rotation also changed here it is below but 90 is not available here again if you given 90 enter now you can see the column orientation changed but here you can see it's changed to friend and here no more 90 similar way you can make this horizontal also horizontal now it is in middle exactly in middle now i change it to left then enter now you can see it is changed to left and i change it to right enter now you can see it is changed to right this match with this point and i go to the middle then enter now it is middle or if you want to change the value here just make it 100 now you can see it is moved from this point 100 this side so i just make it zero enter then here you can see bottom and top 
I just go to view list and I just select here grid one. Sorry, I just go to view list again, control tab. This grid actually we made in A grid. So we need to select A grid or two grid. So I just go to view list again and I select here A grid. See, this is the column. If I select this column, you can see the bottom of this column, it is zero. Top of this column, you can see it is 6000. If you want to increase this column height, I just make it here 7500, enter. Now you can see this column height increased. If you want to decrease this column height to 6000, type 6000, then enter. Now you can see it is back to 6000. Similar way, if you need to decrease this side, I just make it here 5500, enter. Now you can see it is come down 5500. Now this one top level from this point, it is 5500. Similar way, you can make this bottom also. Bottom you can see exactly match with this zero elevation. If you want to reduce means you need to make it minus negative value you can make negative i just make it minus 150 enter now you can see it is come down from the from that zero elevation 150 mm if you need to make from this point to 200 mm you need to raise this column i just make it high 200 enter now you can see it is raised from this zero elevation to this point you will get it 200 mm so this is the way you can control vertically also means z direction also you can control this is the way the next one deforming this also you can use and you can make few things but this is more than enough to control your column and the next one here it is very important one user defined attributes user if you click here you can see user defined attributes will open this one actually this user field we will use for when we create title block and all that time we can call this information if you want to give any additional information we can give in this user field and that one we can call in our drawing sometime this column we don't want to we we don't want to fabricate we just need to hold we have some changes in this column we need to inform in our drawing so we need to mark select the column and go to the user field here somewhere else you can make this command here you can type hold and modify and click ok when we make our template material template or some other template that time we can call this command in this command we can call that location this user field we can call that location and it will notice that one hold so production people will understand this column having some problem so it is hold when we release the hold that time select the column go to the user field remove this one and modify and ok or you can type here hold list so people will understand hold release we can fabricate this one so like that user field is very important when we create this one will create your work very easy and you can inform that activity in your template using user field now i just close this one and i go to i need to go next window if I want to go next window, use control tab in your keyboard. Press control tab. Together you need to press. So you will get it. You can go to the next next window. Again and again if you press tab, it will go to next next window. Press and hold control always and tab again again if you press, you will, it will go to next next window. Now, I just go to the steel again. And I go to the column, double click this column and 
double click this column and you can see you will get into the column properties now i need to make the column from 3000 then the top elevation is 7500 then enter now this column will start from 3000 if i click here you will get it the column from this point now i go to the grid a you can see this column start from here this column start from here so now this grid already i created in zero elevation so now you can look like this sometime you need to create column 7000 or 15000 or 20000 like that level you need to create so if you create like that you cannot see here sometime you are in this level i just go to the control v control if you control if you select this view list control i if you use control i you will get it the view list and now i just select here 6000 plan view. now this is the 6000 plan view now i just use control and press mouse center button you can rotate like this now i go to the column and i change here zero and i change here thousand and if i click this portion also and it will ask you to expand i am just telling don't expand so if i give a note don't expand you cannot see the column where we created because it is here actually now i just go to again click this location column and it will ask you expand or not if i expand you can see both the column if you click here also because it is 6000 elevation actually see here this is 6000 elevation if you click this elevation also the column will create which elevation you given here that elevation only so when you create the column that time if you didn't found the column your elevation is wrong you have to check the elevation this is the way to create column in Tecla Structure 2020.